Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's a me, Slosh, and today is going to be the first video in a new series on my YouTube channel, which is going to be New Pokemon Snap High Course Score Guides, where I will be walking you through um, some very strong high course score strats that are used to uh, get top 25 or higher course scores for specific courses. So, let's start this off by doing a Sans Day run. Um, my current PB is a 2... Uh, a 2... a 5.25 million point run that has uh, kept me in the top 20 for quite a while. So this is sort of the strat that I use. Start off by looking at the top of this uh, dust devil over there, throwing some fruit to get score bunny to run out. Then look over to the left from the start and scan so you know where this Minior is. Get a picture of Minior. And then speed up. We're not going to get a picture of score bunny yet, and it's going to make sense why later. Then these Cacneas. Orb this Cacnea. Going to pose at you. Get a picture of him posing. You can also do the scan and, um, when the Cacneas are rolling down the hill, get a picture of when you can see their faces. That's also a really good picture you can get. But both of them are about equal points, and the pose is safer. So now, we're going to get Mandibuzz. That Mandibuzz is going to fly right in the center of our camera, if we look over by that dune. And we're going to get that picture. Then we're going to orb these Crystablooms. This Scroopy is going to walk over to the Scroopy that we just saved from the Dust Devil. We're gonna we're gonna orb them both. We're gonna take a picture for a four star picture. Then we're gonna look up and scan Flygon. When Flygon's doing the three star animation here, we're gonna take its picture. And then we're gonna want to go up this hill, but not too quickly. Not too quickly, not too slowly, because we want to get Flygon in the frame of our Lycan Rock picture. It's not that big a deal if you don't get it, but it is uh, it is better if you get it than if you don't. So we're going to get a picture of Tyranitar, then we're going to look at the Lycan Rock, get that Lycan Rock's picture, and then... I almost switched to burst mode too soon. <laughs> it's really important that you don't switch to burst mode too early because you've got a fruit to lure Torchic over, then scan to get its attention, take its picture, and then immediately after, orb Hippowdon in the background and um, switch to burst mode. Torchic is going to run over and we're going to take, not take Torchic's picture, sorry. We're going to orb Torchic and then when it jumps on Hippowdon, we're going to take burst mode pictures of Hippowdon down to 18 pictures. So we're taking most of our pictures on this Hippowdon because it is really, really high points. It's a really high point interaction. Next up is going to be Silicobra, which is in this these bushes here. We throw an apple into the bush. It's going to kick its tail up, and we want to get a picture of it right around then. And now, this part is kind of finicky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work, um, best thing you can do is honestly just reset your Rumbia. Sometimes Magikarp just doesn't show up, but you need Magikarp in order to, for a run to work. So, we're going to switch into burst mode after Magikarp, because next is going to be 4-star Heliolisk. You can get anywhere in the range of 40, like, high 47 to 4900s on 4-star Heliolisk pictures, which is why I personally use two full bursts of 6 on them. But you gotta, you gotta take the pictures quick, because two bursts... And that's pretty much all the time you've got. Alright, perfect. Now, we're going to do Vivion, Trapinch, Pinsir, and Scorbunny. Vivion, we're going to wait for it to get a little bit closer, then scan so it stops for a second, and we can get Flygon in that frame as well. Bonk Trapinch, get a picture of Trapinch. Now, this is a little tight on the timing because of score bunny having depending on where score bunny is when you orbit got throw an apple at pincer get a picture when it's in the air and then orb score bunny 
Score Bunny is going to run over here and is going to start digging up a trip inch. You want to wait as long as you can to get the picture, but you don't want to wait too long because the course ends a few seconds, at least for me personally, before I expect it to. So you don't want to wait too long that you end up missing out on getting the score bunny picture and the run just ends without you taking all 72 pictures and not getting all 16 species of Pokemon that you're going to get on this desert day run. So that is personally the strat that I use on desert day. Let's see what kind of score this run gets. Pretty decent Minior score for that interaction. Very strong Cacnea. That was a pretty good Mandibuzz. Pretty good uh, Skaroopy. That was a really strong uh, Flygon. Good Tyranitar for that interaction. Decent Lycanroc. That was a, that was a good Torchic. Strong Hippowdon Batch. Good Silicobra. That was actually a really good Magikarp for that interaction. Getting a 3000 is tough, but yeah. Just like I said, there's a 49-14 four-star Heliolisk that I got on that run. That's just so big, you know? So, me personally, that's sort of why I prefer to take two bursts of four-star Heliolisk instead of taking, say, two more bursts of Hippowdon and then only taking one picture of Heliolisk, I think that the burst of four-star Heliolisk, personally, is a fairly good choice. Good Vivion. That's a pretty strong Trapinch. Pretty strong Pinsir. And that was one of the highest score bunnies I've gotten since I got that diamond score bunny. I don't know how I got that, to be honest. And what is our course score that time around? That is a new personal best for me. 5.266. A 5,266,368 point run on Desert Day. Now, let's real quick, uh, before we end the video, let's real quick go see where on the Desert Day leaderboard that will put us. All right, so currently, Desert Day, 5,266,368 point run will put you in the top 20 on Desert Day. And if you look at the rest of the top 100, that's within striking distance. But yeah, that is the high course score strat for Sans Day. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and or found this video useful if you too are uh, interested in grinding the course score leaderboards in new Pokemon Snap. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to either hit that like button or hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on so that way you know when I drop another high course score guide video. And also, if you found this video fun to watch or useful, be sure to comment in the comment section down below, letting me know what course you would like me to do a high course score guide on next. And aside from that, thank you all so much for watching, and always use your imagination. I'll see you in the next one.